All right, so now I'm gonna show you the entire process from start to finish of me creating a YouTube automation video. All right, I'm gonna slow it down to kind of show you exactly what I'm doing. I have found a Bitcoin article. We're gonna stick with that theme. Again, I wanna reiterate this probably isn't the best niche for someone to pick, but just to show you as an example. So we're gonna take it into, par uh, we're gonna paraphrase it by taking it into Quillbot. I'm just gonna slowly copy the article here. And there we go. We've copied the article. We're going to space it down so there's no lulls in here. And now we're going to paraphrase it. So now we have our video script and it's rewriting it into new words so that we're not copying it. Now that it's done, we need a voiceover. Okay, so we're going to copy it. We're going to take it into Word. We're going to paste it into Word. And I will minimize this here. You can fast forward through this video if you want, but I'm going to show you recording the actual video. So I'm going to use Screencast-O-Matic. I'm going to record it using text-to-speech. Again, you can read this if you want, or you can hire somebody to do it for you. Once it's recording, we'll run the text-to-speech by highlighting it, right-clicking, and click Read Aloud. We'll mute it. Now, you can obviously use uh, ttsreader.com. You can read it yourself. Like I said, it's very, very easy. Reading it yourself is going to be the same rough amount of time as if you use text-to-speech because it's going to take you the same rough amount of time to read it and record it as it would for an automated person to do so. This just makes it easier if you don't feel like doing so, okay? Now, I already touched on how you can change and alter your voice slightly in an editing program if you want to do that. Again, you can learn that on YouTube for in five minutes very, very easily, or you can obviously outsource this if you want to. There's going to be an entire outsourcing section in this course in the future coming up. The fragrance of the wallet is unique, serving to both deter counterfeiting and engage all five senses. Lee is confident in the future of the price of Bitcoin. Bobby Lee is another well-known and outspoken proponent of Bitcoin who calls himself a BTC maximalist. He thinks that the price of Bitcoin is still very low compared to what it can and will be worth in the future. He described it as a trillion dollar asset class and predicted additional price increases. He explains that the price of Bitcoin rises and falls in waves, with each wave forming a bubble that drives the price of the coin higher. In the next years, he anticipates that BTC will experience multiple more waves that will likely push the price up to $100,000 to $200,000 and finally $1 million. According to Lee, the price of Bitcoin rises 10 to 20 times with each successive bubble, and he anticipates this pattern to continue. This is the reason he endorses and counsels BTC investment, as well as the reason he designed a hardware wallet for long-term holdings. What do you think of Bobby Lee's bullish forecasts for the price of Bitcoin? Do you believe that Bitcoin might reach $1 million during the next 5 to 10 years? Comment below with your ideas and let us know. All right, and it's done reading now, so we can pause it. We're going to click done, and we're going to save and upload it so that we can get the video. Now, what you could do if you don't want to take it into a video like an editor, I'm going to take it in just to make sure here in a second. You can just drag these over on Screencast-O-Matic as close as possible. Just don't make sure you don't take out any of the, uh, the, like the, the actual voice over there. And then once you're done, it should pop up, click save it as a video file and publish it. Now, as soon as it's done, it's going to obviously take it to one of your folders to figure out what folder it's saving it to mine. I know it takes it to the document folder. So I'm going to come into premiere pro and I'm just literally going to make sure that it looks fine. It's going to be this last recording here. And if I didn't, See how it's like pretty close to the side, but not all the way. So I'm just going to snip it slightly to make sure that it looks good. You don't need to do this, but I just like to. So now I'm going to export it as an MP3, obviously, so that we get the voiceover. I'll save it as voiceover, you know, Bitcoin, just so I know what it is. You can save it as the title of your video if you want. Make sure you export it as an MP3. Now, again, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. There's a million different ways. You just you can you can convert it to an MP3 file online. Whatever you want to do, you just need the voiceover. So now we have the script. We have the voiceover, right? 
Now what we need is video graphics. Now you could just download uh, Creative Commons. You could just download pictures and have a fast moving slideshow. There's a number of ways that you can do it. I'm going to use Pictory here because it's a game changer of a software. So I'll run you through an example of how this is gonna create a video for us. So we need a script. Good thing we have a script. Let's go this right here. And then this will be, the video title will be, will Bitcoin reach 1 million or will Bitcoin ever, whoa, ever reach 1 million? And then we'll proceed. We have the script. We'll pick, um, let's pick this one this time. Go 16 by 19, so it's sideways. You can play around with tall videos as well. Some of them do hit, and we're just going to let this kind of run. And you'll see just how fast it comes up with a script, obviously, the captions and the pictures that actually fit the entire script. So it'll probably come up with some Bitcoin pictures. It'll probably come up with some finance pictures, stuff like that. Now you can see right here all the pictures and videos that it's actually using. Some of them are moving, some of them are not. Now we're going to add our voiceover that we recorded. So you want to come over here to add voiceover, upload the voiceover, drag and drop a file, voiceover that we just did. And once it's done, you want to click entire video and then it'll sync to the entire video and it'll generate a preview that we can watch. And then we'll generate the video and I'll show you what it actually looks like. So let's let this run. Let's let it finish. It should run, you know, and finish pretty quickly. Oh, already done. Never mind. Now watch it. Make sure that it fits. Obviously watch like two frames and make sure it fits. I already trust and know that it fits because I've, I've done this so many times, so I'm sure it does. Then we're going to generate the video and that's how fast you can create one of these videos. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, this, this is going to run probably for like a minute and generate the video. And then I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So now it's ready to download and we're simply going to download it to the PC and bam, now we have a video that's done fully YouTube automated with a brand new script that we know that has a pretty good likelihood of eventually getting some traction and some views on YouTube. Obviously it's you know, content that we've created ourselves. So it's organic content that we didn't copy because it's a paraphrased script. We put it all together and it will also keep audience retention because it has captions going. This is Adam O'Connor, Crypto Lawyer. In a recent interview, we introduced his brand new business, Ballet which has developed a unique hardware wallet for cryptocurrency investors worldwide. He claimed that the choice to provide a physical, non-electronic wallet was motivated by the desire to bring cryptocurrency closer to what people are already accustomed to. Bobby thinks that the existence of cryptocurrencies in digital form may be a barrier to their adoption and utilization. Everyone on the planet would have a secure location to see. And that's how you create a YouTube automation video super fast with relative ease using software.